Is this the end of the daily mail? Is the end near for the daily fail? Now my family, this has been a long time coming. Prince Harry did not start this war. But Prince Harry may be the only one the entire world is depending on to finally put an end to the daily mail. A very much racist and bigoted tabloid. My family, Prince Harry pleaded with the UK press to simply just back off. Prince Harry said in the Oprah Winfrey interview with Harry and Meghan that he pleaded with the UK press, the UK tabloids, once as a boyfriend, once as a husband, and once as a father. All of Prince Harry's pleas, all of them, fell on deaf ears. And now Prince Harry has filed a court case against the Daily Mail and as well as other big household names have also joined in in this fight against this UK tabloid press, the Daily Mail. Daily Mail has caused so much pain and suffering, not just to Harry, not just to Meghan, but to many, many people. Many people. And it's high time they face accountability for their actions. When Megan was pregnant with baby Archie, she was bullied every single day by this tabloid, the Daily Mail. It is high time they answer for the pain that they have caused. My family, this is the story. The Daily Mail is being sued for the most serious illegal news gathering ever, including allegations of burglaries and also landline tappings by Prince Harry and six big household names. Prince Harry and Baroness Doreen Lawrence are joined by Elton John in a group action. My family, why is this significant? Why is this important? There was once a tablet, very powerful, called News of the World. I'm sure that some of you have heard of it. News of the World was owned by Rupert Murdoch. And the only reason it fell was because a group of high-profile celebrities joined hands, banded together, in a similar manner as Prince Harry, Elton John, David Farish are banding together. To fight it, news of the world was fought against because of its behavior, its phone hacking scandal that broke out. My family, news of the world collapsed because a group of high-profile people banded together, got the evidence, and news of the world was found to be involved in serious phone hacking. To this day, the owner of the now defunct News of the World, Rupert Murdoch, has paid an estimated one to three billion pounds for phone hacking allegations. So this move by Prince Harry, Elton John and David Farnish is very, very significant. Very, very significant. And I'm hoping that this will be the beginning of the end for the Daily Mail. Now, private investigators allege that landlines were tapped a much more serious offense than phone hacking. Further allegations include breaking into cars and bugging homes. That's how intrusive the UK press are. That's how they are. And they have gotten away with this so many times that they feel like they are above the law. I've always said this. The UK press act like they are above the law. It is high time that they are held accountable for their actions. And I'm thankful that Prince Harry is doing this alongside Elton John. It is high time they are held accountable. Now, lawyers claim that medical records were blagged from hospitals and bank statements were obtained by deception. Actresses Liz Harley and Sadie Frost 
also suing the controversial papers. Elton John's husband, David Farnish, claims he was targeted by illegal news gathering. However, the paper's long-service editor-in-chief, long-serving editor-in-chief Paul Ducker, denied his papers hacked phones in sworn evidence at the Levinson inquiry. If it turns out the mail were involved and he knew Ducker potentially faces 51 weeks in jail for misleading a public inquiry. Ducker's forthcoming ennoblement now is also has been put in doubt. As I said, this tablet press, whenever they engage in this kind of illegal, illegal behaviors, whenever they engage in these kinds of illegal behaviors, they are rewarded with honors. But this time, if this longest service serving editor in chief Paul Ducker is found to have misled the Levinson inquiry, he faces 51 weeks in jail for misleading a public inquiry. My family, I like many of you, are hoping from the bottom of my heart that indeed the Daily Mail answers for its actions. Now the Daily Mail, Mail on Sunday and Mail Online are being sued for alleged burglaries and also landline phone tappings. Seven claims have been issued at the High Court and sent to the Mail headquarters in London. The claimants include Baroness Doreen Lawrence, Justice Campaigner and mother of murdered teenager Stephen Lawrence, Prince Harry, the Duke of Sussex, Elton John, singer, songwriter, jointly with his husband, David Furnish, filmmaker, Elizabeth Harley, actress and also a model, Sadie Frost, also an actress. Now, a press release stated this that each of these individuals have become aware of various elements of compelling and highly distressing evidence which show that in different ways they have each been the victims of abhorrent criminal activity and gross breaches of privacy by associated newspapers. The most shocking name on the list is Baroness Doreen Lawrence of Clarendon, who is 69 years old. Her son, Stephen Lawrence, was brutally murdered in 1993 in a racist knife attack in Eltham, southeast London. But her agony was increased when prejudiced and corrupt cops failed to bring the killers to justice for nearly a decade. While the gang taunted the Lawrence family with insults and also lies. The Daily Mail has boasted about his controversial front page of February the 14th of 1997, in which it accused five men of being guilty of Stephen Lawrence's murder. But in an astonishing development, Baroness Lawrence now alleges that the newspaper was unlawfully invading the privacy of the Lawrence family. At the same time, it professed to be championing their cause. The tabloid Relief Mail engages in so much unethical behavior. So much unethical behavior. I have said that no one does hypocrisy more than the UK tabloid press. And those words are very much true. At the same time, it's saying that it's professing the championing of the cause of the Lawrence family. At the same time, it was unlawfully invading their family's privacy for engagement, for money. This is so, so disgusting. Baroness Lawrence lawyers allege that the same paper who fought for justice were also secretly and illegally spying on her in a bid to protect the reputation of its journalists. This is very much true. Hugh Grant, an actor, 
say that Daily Mail and the rest of the UK press are more like a protection racket. They protect each other's behaviors, illegal behaviors. They protect each other. My family, the things that the Daily Mail and the rest of the UK press have done in the UK has no place in the society, in the world that we live in. And that's why I'm hoping, I'm hoping that this case shall be the beginning of the end for the Daily Mail owned by Rothmere. My family, a spokesperson for the group said that the unlawful acts alleged to have taken place in relation to one or more of the claimants include number one, the hiring of private investigators secretly to place listening devices inside people's cars and homes, the commissioning of individuals surreptitiously to listen into and record people's lives, private telephone calls while they were taking place, the payment of police officials with corrupt links to private investigators for inside sensitive information, the impersonation of individuals to obtain medical information from private hospitals, clinics, and treatment centers by deception. The accessing of bank accounts, credit histories, and financial transactions through illicit means and manipulation. The allegations have sent shockwaves across Fleet Street. My family, I want to remind you of something about Fleet Street. Fleet Street, when Prince Harry and Meghan stepped down as senior members of the royal family. Fleet Street threatened Prince Harry Meghan saying this, the Prince Harry Meghan can expect no mercy following rogue decision to step down and quit as senior members of the royal family. Don't forget that the same UK press were actively drumming up hate against Prince Harry and Meghan. A pregnant woman, Meghan, was bullied every single day while pregnant. No mercy was shown to her. Never forget. But yet, when Harry and Meghan were fed up and said, we are leaving. The same, same press that published articles saying that Meghan should go back to America is the same one that sat down and said, Harry and Meghan can expect no mercy following wrong decision to go rogue and quit. After Harry and Meghan were fed up with their abuse, abusers were angry that their victims were leaving. The victims had had enough of their abuse and that they were leaving. And to this day, those abusers have still not let go of Prince Harry and Meghan. To this day, they still continue harassing Prince Harry and Meghan. My family, once again, I hope that this case shall be the end of the Daily Fail. Once again, I hope that this case shall be the end of the Daily Fail. In February of 2012, Paul Dacca tried to distance his papers from the hacking scandal, which has cost rival Rupert Murdoch between an estimated one to three billion pounds for settling cases. Don't forget, Prince Harry also has refused to settle the case for phone hacking, has refused to settle with Rupert Murdoch-owned tablets. He has refused. And perhaps that's one of the reasons why the UK press are still going after Prince Harry and Meghan with bullying, abuse. But never forget, Prince Harry said this, I will not be bullied into silence. Now, Paul Dacker told the Levinson Inquiry that the Daily Mail and Mail on Sunday did not use phone hacking. Challenged on this at the inquiry, Mr. Dacker said this, and I quote, I can be as confident as any editor. Having made extensive inquiries into the newspaper's practices and held an inquiry that phone hacking was not practiced by the Mail on Sunday or the Daily Mail. You know that because I gave this inquiry my unequivocal assurances. Giving false or distorted testimony, giving false or distorted testimony to public inquiry under oath is a jailable offense. offense. 
under section 35 of the inquiries act now sources close to litigation claim that the case is not just about a bunch of celebrities trying to protect their privacy the source told exposed.news and sister site bylineinvestigates.com the litigation against the daily mail is about finding out the truth this is not about money it's about the truth something that we know daily fail is allergic to and i'm hoping that the courts of justice finally hold the fail to account it is not about a lot of mourning celebrities trying to stop newspapers from pretty stories about their personal lives it is not about money two of the six claimants are not celebrities one of the victim one of them is a victim of crime an official legal spokesperson added this end quote it is apparent to each of these individuals that the alleged crimes listed above in listen to them individually represent the tip of a bigger iceberg and that many other innocent people remain unknowing victims of similar terrible and reprehensible covert acts these individuals have now therefore banded together to uncover the truth all they want is the truth and to hold fully accountable the relevant journalists many of whom still hold senior positions of authority and power today these individuals have all been the subject of public interest during the course of their careers and personal lives they're united in their desire to live in a world where the press operates freely yet responsibly a press which represents the truth is sourced in fact and can be trusted to operate ethically and in the interest of the british public prince harry is the most high profile claimant his legal team will allege that reporters at the Daily Mail and Mail on Sunday paid investigators to target his girlfriends and pearls, something we know is a practice of the Daily Fail. Associated Newspapers Limited is the third newspaper group that the Duke of Sussex is suing for unlawful information gathering. In a separate action, he is also suing the MOS for libel following his wife Meghan Markle's successful defamation case against Sunday papers last year. Prince Harry's cases against Rupert Murdoch's news group, newspapers, and Rich's Mirror Group newspapers, which have been, which are between them, had to shell hundreds of millions of pounds in damages and legal costs as a result of hacking claims, have been rambling on since October of 2019 and may go to trial next year prince harry has refused to settle this is not about money for harry it's in search of truth for these people for these papers to behave responsibly now the legal action comes after more than 50 stories were published on exposed.news and bylineinvestigates.com revealing unlawful information gathering at mail papers Elton John, David Furnish, Liz Harley, and Sadie Frost have previously settled hacking claims against the news of the world. History was made in June last year when news group settled a claim in the first son only case, paying substantial damages which lawyers claim prove that hacking occurred at the Daily Red Top, even thought, even though it has always denied by Madoc and Rebecca Brooks both of them Rebecca Brooks escaped prison because of Rupert Madoc's contacts and if you get away with something illegal you will want to do it again if you get away with something illegal and also profitable you will want to do it again and that's why the son has been caught has had to pay damages for phone hacking when it has always denied that phone hacking has happened at the sun once again owned by rupert Murdoch. the only solution is to hold these people accountable it's high time they are held accountable 
Rupert Murdoch has been described by the President of the United States of America, Joe Biden, as one of the most dangerous people in the entire world. Well, it is time to hold the most dangerous person in the entire world accountable for these illegal activities. It's high time he's held accountable. Now, my family, the new strand of litigation which saw Sienna Miller and Gaza follow suit in December last year is expected to open the floodgates for many more claims against the Sun. The cases against the ANL Associated News Limited are being led by barrister David Shebot of 5RB Chambers, who also runs most of the managed phone hacking litigation against news group, newspapers and mirror group. One of the solicitors is Callum Galbraith of Hamlets, who represents Sadi Frost and Prince Harry. He is also the lead solicitor in the news group litigation. Dorin Lawrence, Elton John, David Farnish and Liz Harley are presented, represented by Anjali Sangani at Ghana Cook. Between them, this group of lawyers have brought hundreds of claims for phone hacking against news group and mirror group. My family, for me, I just hope that Prince Harry is able to win this case against the Daily Mail. Someone said that if Prince Harry manages to take down the Daily Mail, he would have done so much for democracy. And the people of the UK would have done so much for them. So I'm sincerely hoping that Prince Harry is able to win this case against the Daily Mail. And finally, shut this paper down once and for all. And this joint lawsuit by Elton John, David Farnish, I hope that it yields a lot of, you know, success. That is my hope, that this lawsuit is successful and that the Daily Mail is once and for all held to account for its illegal behaviors. My family, I want to hear your opinion about Prince Harry's court case against the Daily Fail. And with that and so much more, stay tuned to our next video. Don't forget to like, subscribe and support our ever-growing family on YouTube. And stay tuned to our next video. Prince Harry, we are proud of you. Prince Harry has stood up to the Daily Mail. Yet, his extended family, from Charles to William, they work with this type of individuals on the opposite side of the moral spectrum. I will never be on side of evil. I will always be on side of good. The side of Prince Harry. The side of Meghan. Always. My family, may God bless and protect Prince Harry, Meghan, Archie, Libertan, and Doria Glenn, and all of you members of the squad at home. Stay tuned to our next video. The end of the Daily Mail. I'm hoping that this is the end of it. My family, I'm hoping that this tabloid is finally shut down and answers for the pain it has caused many, many people throughout history. I'm hoping that the end of the Daily Mail is near as a paper. It has no place in society. And also for Othmer to answer for the pain that that paper has caused to people. It's high time they answer for their actions. My family, stay tuned to our next video. Love you always and forever. Hello, members of Zesco Family TV. First of all, I want to say thank you for all your support that you give us to our channel. We don't take it for granted that you support this channel. I want to say thank you from the bottom of our hearts for lending out your support and fighting against injustices supporting Prince Harry and Meghan, showing them love. Love will always triumph over evil, and for that I say thank you. Good will always prevail over bad. Thank you so much for all your support. Thank you so much for joining this community, this amazing community of Zesco Family TV. I love you so much, family, from the bottom of my heart, and I wish you all the best. May you have a great, great day, and I hope that you enjoyed this video and learned a lot, a lot of things. With that and so much more, Stay tuned to our next video. Leave a comment below, like, and subscribe. Love you, family, always and forever. Sayonara.